Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. So it's down to business here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Karim Benzema. What a great player to have leading the line, Peter, because his first touch is A-grade, and he's got the physical attributes to keep defenders at bay too. He's not just a workhorse, though. He can pass and finish with, with a plum, and is particularly adept at, at bringing teammates into the game. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. And he's there to cut it out. And the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Planovic. Danilo. Chiesa. Over to the left. Well, each team knows that they're still well below standard, and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out. Yeah, he's fouled him there. And a great opportunity to open the scoring here. This certainly looks appetizing, well within shooting range. Di Maria! Oh, the ball's come loose. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Look at a big chance! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. Locatelli certainly could have and should have made more of that. Daniel Carvajal. Real Madrid have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And here's Benzema. Oh, what a ball! Oh, great defending. That needed doing. He's left his man. He was on the back foot. A chance! Timely intervention. Chiesa. Alaba puts his foot on the gas. Vinicius Junior is on to it and can take it up. It's loose, who's getting there? The first half is done, so now the team has broken through. See, so views on the first half. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Juventus can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Real Madrid are making a change now. So we have a double substitution going on here. That'll be a throw. That'll 
be a throw-in. It's a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. There will be a throw-in. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. I think that's offside, yes it is. Mondi. And it's played forward, done very well to intervene. Tried to play it through, uh, was too timid. Vinicius Junior! And somehow it stayed out. And they've been caught out here. Marco Asensio. And that's been won straight back. Now it's Marco Asensio. Looking for a decent ball in. Oh, he's been flattened there. He's got options out wide, going through. It's a loose ball. Here's the cross. Marco Asensio. Vinicius to... Has a pop! Oh, that's a fine save! Vinicius Junior simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Madrid showing how to help. He's given away a free kick. Vinicius Junior. Kostic tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Marco Asensio. Mondi gets away from his opponent. Bonucci goes looking. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. <laughs> needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Aimed in towards the centre. The 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. I mean, the game's been vibrant, I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant, and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. So all square, we need a winner, and we will be back for extra time. To extra time we go. It's gone out for a throw in. He's had a look, has a hit! A real chance and a real let off. Oh, it was the first touch to die for, and it set him up beautifully. Forward it goes. And here's Di Maria. How many interceptions have we seen now? Someone's got to up the quality and, and set an example. Rabio. Benzema. Decent looking ball. He's got away. He's got away. Marco Asen, shot a goal! Oh, yes, it's there! And that might well be that! It for the first period of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. And we're off for the final time. 
It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout. Vinicius Junior, it into the middle. Well read, he sorted that out. Vinicius Junior with an air of confidence about him, a certain swagger. It opened up really nicely when the defence got all tentative then. Uh, they were cautious in making contact, but safe in numbers. Benzema. Vinicius Junior! In it goes! Two up now, and they are cruising. Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on, too. Real Madrid could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? And the referee brings it to a close. Well, the players certainly gave it everything, but just didn't get the break. Terrific support, terrific effort. But the wrong outcome tells you somewhat what we've witnessed.